All right, so there's one more part to that story, and I had mixed it in when I told the story before, and people were way interested in this part of it, so I had decided to separate it out. We'll see if it works better this time. So while we were still living um, in the apartment when I was still working, I had driven his truck to my parents' house in Winder, and they didn't like him, so he never called there. Well, he called that day, and he told me not to look through his truck. The funky part about that is I am not a snooper. I mean, I don't go through phones. I don't go through emails. If I feel like I need to start doing that, then there's a pretty big problem. But after Home Skillet told me not to go through his truck, you can bet your ass I went through that like Inspector freaking gadget. What do I find? In his glove box, I find a stack of driver's licenses all belonging to young black men. I thought it was weird. Didn't think a whole lot of it. When I did question him about it that night, he had said that um, these people had written checks where he worked and left their IDs on the counter. I guess only young black men shop at that place. I'll give you a hint. It's old white ladies. So I don't know. I, I don't know. It didn't have any nefarious types of vibes from it at the time. I did remember a couple of those names um, after everything happened. And those names I was able to look up. And they are missing persons. I'm pretty sure Worm if he didn't make it to full-on serial unaliver on his own, he tried really freaking hard. And I'm actually working on something right now that might kind of put him where he needs to be um, because he's been out since 07. Anyhow, just thought I'd share that with you. It's kind of a creepy thing to know. But stick around. I'll probably um, redo some other stories over the next week or so. If you guys need me, you know what my email is. Yeah, it's right up at the top. See ya.